The first private hospital in Zhudong Township has reopened to the public as a coffee shop and event space. The site of Changchun Hospital has also been designated a country-level historic site. The building, which dates back to the 1930s, has gone through many changes since it was first used as a medical center. Now back in the hands of the Song family, who founded the original hospital, the building has a new lease of life. <laughs> A fourth generation member of the Song family plays the guitar here in the historic Changchun Hospital. The building, which is so steeped in local history, now plays host to arts events. It's Art Deco, a trendy style in the 30s. It was one of the most popular styles globally. The outer walls boast a pebble dash facade, geometric patterns, and floral carvings. Inside, the decorations are made of wood, plaster, and glazed tiles. We can see these beautiful floors, which are a patchwork of terrazzo and various different ceramics. Changchun Hospital in Zhudong Township was built in 1930 in Art Deco style, a popular trend in Europe and the Americas back then. It was the first three-story building in the local region. Its founders were the brothers Song Yin Yi and Song Yin Xiang. The building later changed hands many times before returning to the Song family in 2018. In December 2023, it was designated a historic site for Xinzhu County. It went through various upheavals, but that's in the past now. We had this opportunity to buy it back and to go through the process of getting it designated a historic site. So we all hope it can be preserved in perpetuity. The old hospital has now been converted into a cafe. It will be used to hold charity medical clinics as well as to host arts events. Our goal is to revitalize the building so we will create a space for arts and cultural events, free medical clinics and charity events. What am I going? My grandfather had gastric bleeding as a child. If it weren't for him being sent to this hospital, I might not be here today. The hospital was the site of many life-saving procedures almost 100 years ago. Now, it's a site for arts and leisure and a place to connect with local history.